Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create this crazy perspective illusion in Adobe After Effects. We're gonna use a bit of tracking and some simple effects. But before we start I wanna thank to Wondershare PixCut for sponsoring this video. PixCut is an easy to use and free online tool which allows you to quickly remove background from any image. All you need to do is just upload your image and PixCut does the job for you. It utilizes artificial intelligence to automatically remove the background. AI will analyze your picture and create a detailed selection of the subject. In just a few seconds you can download your image with a transparent background. Check out the before and after. Moreover, it also allows you to enlarge or scale up an image. This means it will take the original image, process it and increase the resolution. Again, just upload the original photo and you get a high quality result. Learn more about Wondershare PixCut by checking the links in the description below. Now how do we create the illusion? First let's take a look at the original shot. Put your camera on a tripod and get the first shot. Then keep the camera in the same position and record the second shot. In this shot I place the cardboard with some tracking marks on the table and move the camera. Now that we have this recorded, let's fire up After Effects. I place the main shot with the cardboard on the bottom and the second shot on top of that. We want to place this shot on the cardboard. So how do we do it? Select the main shot and create a duplicate. Next trim it down to select just the part which needs to be tracked. Then apply 3D camera tracker effect to this layer. In some cases you need to change the shot type to variable zoom. And let After Effects analyze the shot. Now select the track points on the cardboard, right click and choose create solid and camera. We can hide this solid for now. At this point we can select the shot which we want to place on the cardboard. Select the pen tool and let's create a mask. Make sure to follow the shape of the cardboard. Now let's make the layer 3D. As you can see the layer is not in a correct position, but we can easily fix that. Copy the transform properties of the solid layer and paste it onto the replacement shot. Now use the scale position and rotation to match this layer with the background. And it's already looking pretty cool. We just need to correct the position at the end. So just enable animation for position, scale and rotation and correct it manually. Also don't forget to enable motion blur for this layer. As our final step I'll duplicate our replacement shot and remove all of the effects and masks. Trim this layer to the point where the camera begins to move. Now animate the opacity to go from 100 to 0%. And we can pre-compose all these layers, add some color grading and additional camera movement, and we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.